Body for radio. <laughs> Face for radio. Dad's a very. That's right. It's episode 84. In the house. J and RJ. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, Erie. We welcome you this year, <laughs> 2021, <laughs> to post-COVID celebrations once again. That's commencing. right. Fireworks uh, official. official. Fireworks are happening. The fourth happened last year, friends. Yeah. We, on, on the back, the bankroll of some highfalutin <laughs> people over in Collier's Hill. And Visceridge. And Visceridge. That was a great I year. I saw some shows. Yeah, man. man that was, that was a great Up here in year. Erie Highlands looking over to call your seal was like, whoa. That needs to happen this year with all the rain. Somebody drove a semi-truck to <laughs> Wyoming. Not just like a pickup truck, like a semi-truck to Wyoming. Yeah, totally. Like, we didn't spend any cash on Disneyland this year. Let's go spend it on... Yeah, we're going to spend forty grand on fireworks. And they did. Yeah. Woofta. Oh, man. Hilarious, but hey, Hilarious. the city's having fireworks this year. Did you did you know that the actually the independence was signed on July third? Don't don't do this. To me. <laughs> I'm looking it up, so you're gonna have to carry the show for a little. I have bit. to carry it while you Google things over yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, great. I said a falsehood today on my other podcast. I said that Texas flag is the only flag allowed to fly at the same level as the American flag. It's not true. It's not true, actually. Yeah. It has to submit. It's still. It doesn't really want to submit, but it does. It can fly equal, though. Yeah. No, it cannot fly equal. Oh, it has to be slightly below. Yeah, slightly below. That is a falsehood taught to young Texas Texans. children. Because <laughs> you are the Republic of Texas. <laughs> you know, it's just really, really funny that way, you know? Anyways. Hilarious. I thought that was fun. That was funny. <laughs> it's because July 3rd, yeah, I voted to declare independence two days early on July 2nd. But was not declared until July fourth. Yeah, they signed it on the fourth. They right? signed it on the fourth. Yeah. Oh man. Anyways, the false. So the, the apparently the Congress moved just as slow back then. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Dad's of Erie this time around, folks. <laughs> just shut her off, and truth bombs are there. Two minute podcast. Two minute podcast. Hey, what, what's up? What's up with you, man? What's up with you? Nothing. Me, me, nothing. Are you excited for July third around here in Erie, Colorado? I am. We're so cool. We do it a day early. Yeah. Because why would we wait? It is funny though because the fourth is on a Sunday, so really you don't want to stay up late to watch fireworks because you got to probably have to go to work the fifth. Yep. So I know. Do the companies give off the fifth now? Think, is, don't I we think, do I like an obs- observe? Because t- isn't yeah. there one like that? Like if new if New Year's New happen, Year's yeah. or Christmas happens on a weekend, they give the next. Totally. Working day if, off. If you're not in one of those companies, it's time for a post COVID change. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Go make go in and say, I want this day off. <laughs> July fifth. <laughs> it's so important to me. So important. Uh yeah, but July third. And this year the fireworks have changed locations. So used I've to been, be at Vista Ridge on the golf golf course. course. Which the balloon festival used to be on Vista Ridge too. That's what I just said. I wonder Vista Ridge, you mad? Yeah, you mad? You, you good? Mad? You you did like guys you good it with us yeah people are using your backyards for, <laughs> <laughs> for parking yeah or defecations yeah <laughs> yeah are you good yeah like what what Viseridge kicked us out we need to have a talk Viseridge are they gonna annex to Broomfield oh you hey Viseridge let's talk yeah man hey come on Viseridge we're cool if anyone knows why Viseridge is yeah, being maybe so he's on the board with Viseridge HOA what, what's going on all at your boys Viseridge did get a new pool this year what it was destroyed demolished like. Late May, and I was like, there's no way they're getting a pool this year. They got the fastest pool builders in the business. You know what? what? The only thing that's not put in is the the older kid slide, which everyone's okay with because I hear the new pool's awesome. That's cool. Is it the main, like the clubhouse pool? Oh, yeah, the clubhouse oh, okay. pool. It looked like a war zone for like three months. <laughs> You're like, what are they going to do this? Is this going to open? Oh, we're, we're, what, hey, guys, you know Memorial Day's coming. And summer's like, here. Guys, hello. You know, post-COVID. Summer. That's all right, because my pool, people keep – being nincompoops yeah uh, extreme dropping glass somehow into the pool to the point where we have to drain the pool sweep it out and then fill the pool again so that would be miserable stop being nincompoops yeah that's a lot of water it's a lot where does that water go does it go to your awesome new like soccer pitch out there you would hope right yeah like but it's probably so chlorinated it would just kill the grass (laughs) please just don't just dump it down the drain the fish like it i guess (laughs) or not i don't know yeah, it's sort of interesting that, but these pools are awesome. I I really wish, you know, 
that's the struggle with us living in such a older community is that we do not have a pool. Yeah, that's true. It was kind of a trend. It's been a more recent trend. In Colorado. Yeah. I, I really wish we had a pool. I, I love the pool. You, as you know. But from you know where, you know where to come. You know I know where to come, but like sometimes, you know, you work and you're busy and you know, we want to My crash. mother my brother from another mother, man. Just, yeah, you know, grab the key. Oh, uh, we are the Owens Junior the twenty fifth. Why what are you doing? What is this? Are, are, I'm doing Italian. Italian. I'm not Italian. Italian. Are you doing, doing Italian, Italian hands hand. over here, me? That's how that's how you talk. Oh hey, hey, oh, hey. I'm, I'm about to go let's go to the pool. Huh? <laughs> Let's go to the pool, guys. Don't talk about Italian. I'm hungry. I want Italian food now. Pasta <laughs> J sounds awesome. But, you know, I really wish a pool, I, we had a pool. That, was, that would be, be awesome. Nice. That would be nice. That is a big selling point. Yeah. Speaking of Italian. Yeah. Do you remember Fazoli's? Yes, I love Fazoli's, man. Do you know there's still one ex- in existence? There's only one in the whole world? I don't know world? if there's one in the whole world, but I know there's at least one Is this nearby. another falsehood episode? No, in Arvada, there's a Fazoli's. Oh, really? Yeah. Actually, I have seen it like in Arvada. Like 55th yeah, 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 and yeah. Wadsworth. Yeah. Is it on Tuesday night? Is unlimited breadsticks? I don't know. Un- or we'll unlimited have spaghetti? Let's we'll find out. <laughs> you remember those nights? Yes. In college, when, I ate fazolis on that night. Whatever was unlimited. Well, that was the spaghetti. other thing. Was we were, I was talking to a buddy at work, and we were looking at the dollar scoop Chinese over there. And I was like, man, <laughs> back in the day, <laughs> that would you knew you were gonna be sick. But you're oh like, yeah, yeah. In high school, I'm, you, I'm poor. You were gonna be sick. I'm you're like, I can eat suffer. for five dollars. Yeah, I ate a definitely dollar scoop places. Oh, yeah. Dollar scoop places yeah, and fazolis. Like, like, where'd you get this chicken? I'm not going to ask questions. Yeah, totally. you, it's a dollar you, you scoop. you got to tell your, your dad selling the older chicken story. That's all oh, a good yeah. story. So for those of you that don't know my dad, he has <laughs> Mr. he has a chicken farm. Randall. <laughs> Randall Sr. over there. He's got a chicken farm. And he uh, one day we he had these chickens to stop laying eggs because eventually they do. Yeah, they get know, old. They go through menopause. They go they through. Stop laying eggs. And chicken paws. Retirement. Chicken paws. <laughs> chicken paws. I don't know. Chicken paws. That might be <laughs> the episode title. Chicken paws? Yeah. For 4th of July episode? Yeah, dude. This 4th of July episode's off the rails. <laughs> so they, they're they laying eggs. So he he tells me, he's like, hey, can you put them on Craigslist for free and just, just see if we can get rid of them? Yeah. And I said, sure. Because like, you really don't, don't like, want to Who's going to take an old chicken? Like, who's gonna take, they're, yeah, they're old. Yeah. They're probably five years old at this point. Yeah. Who wants an old chicken? Right. He said his phone would not stop <laughs> ringing for three hours. He said he couldn't. <laughs> answer the phone fast enough and he was getting calls while he was on the phone with other people <laughs> and finally he was like he called me in a panic and he was like he called me from my mom's phone delete the thing delete it now i can't <laughs> stop just make it stop i'm like okay okay <laughs> so so for the first time it was a chinese couple that came and they're yeah. like oh they're, we're, they they were like hey we're just gonna take them and they threw them in the back of a honda civic yeah I'm like, okay <laughs> the funnier one actually i don't know if i ever told you this one the second time <laughs> Which the second time we we literally had it open and I was like ready to hit delete as soon as he got the first phone right. call. It was an old Russian couple, right? And they come in and they're like, "No, we're gonna make them lay again." I was like, "Okay, lady," <laughs> like she's gonna run a yeah. gulag for chickens <laughs> and make them lay some eggs. I was like, "Okay, uh, good luck to you." <laughs> they're really old. He's like, "I understand. They're gonna lay chickens." And oh, same thing, they call, yeah. pull them like a Honda Civic, right, right. And, like throw them in the back seat, and we're like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess. You want a cage? Do, you, like a, do you want a box or something? I don't know. <laughs> like, you wouldn't think, right? You yeah, think totally. like old chicken? Like, who wants old chicken? Right. Well, dollar scoop places probably, and then <laughs> yeah, apparently totally. Russian ladies, the Russian connection. ladies who can make chicken them lay them. eggs again. I will make them lay eggs. We have something called. <laughs> we have ways to make them lay eggs. Human growth hormone. Okay, lady. Human growth hormone. Yeah, she was kind yeah, of. Yeah. She was a little intimidating. Yeah, I was totally. like, oh, okay. <laughs> Just don't ever go back here. That's Please okay. Forget our address right away. <laughs> Thanks. That's no doubt. Yeah. That's hilarious, man. Dude, the dime your dad tried to sell the chickens. Yep. The older chicken. Chicken paws. Chicken paws. <laughs> Anyways, Fourth of July. Fourth. Of <laughs> third. <laughs> I don't know how to say way out of that money. <laughs> We've, we've lost it. We've lost Speaking of laying eggs. Speaking of laying eggs, we don't know if they will this year with the 4th of July oh. celebration. Okay. This made me think of this. Okay. Well, I'll have to get to the 4th of July celebration. Okay, I'll tell you this. People are laying eggs. Up, laying oh. eggs. Okay. Laying eggs on yes. the 4th of July. Look up San Diego, and it was like probably 2006, 2007. <laughs> all of their fireworks went off at once. <laughs> Like we're talking like a multi-million dollar fireworks display all going off it at once. It just went poorly. Oh, it was amazing though. <laughs> it was like the sun come came back up because there was so much fireworks going off. Really? Oh yeah. 
<laughs> you got don't look it up now. Look it up I'm, later. I, but I need to save it for later. Oh, okay. You, that's awesome. Yeah, they literally all go off at once, and it fills <laughs> the sky with just fireworks. It's just chaos. Like, did, like it's you it, can't even hear individual booms anymore. It's just like a <laughs> loud roar. Does then does uh 2012? That it seems like it's 2012. Okay, 2012. So we might it. post it on our. On our page. Instagram, yeah, yeah, totally. link to it or something. Totally. Um, do does it does the city get its money back after that one? I, like, I um, don't. Yeah, like the guy do, writes, he's like, "Here you go, here's your check back." I guess that's what insurance would be for, maybe. Yeah, probably a claim on the insurance. Claim on the insurance. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, okay, so we have July third fireworks, which is Saturday night here in Erie this year. Yes, from the rec center. If we haven't made that clear, I don't think we have. No, at all, but they're coming from the rec center. And everything in the material from the rec center and the city say the roof line of the rec center is sort of where you want to look. Okay. So if you can see the roof line of the rec center from your house or from your spot, you're right. good to go. We do have some suggestions, helpful suggestions of possible good spots. Don't we are, tell the people good spots. No, we want the good spots. We're, we're dependent on some some forward thinking type of spots. We uh, don't know 100% if they're going to sure, be true. We don't really know this year. It's a brand new spot. I think St. Luke's and Austin Street could be a great spot again. Oh, yeah. You know, you usually have to park there to walk into the fireworks. Yeah. You know, on the golf course. Historically, that's sometimes where people have parked yeah. long ago. But that could be another potential spot because you're high upon the little ridge. Because County Line sits in a valley yeah. to the rec center, yeah. both sides. Yeah. So you want to be somewhat up upon the valley. Yeah, so St. Luke's would be a good one. So that's the big, I was thinking, I don't know Or that field, the field that sits Burger reside. King. Yeah. Go get a <laughs> uh, frozen Coke. That's the only night you ask them to turn off their lights. Hey, man, can you just turn off the Burger King sign? Yeah, you're ruining our light show. Come on, man. You know how, you know how slammed they're going to be that night? That's the best yeah, night they're gonna be, Yeah, they're going to be dying. Yeah, they <laughs> better. I can only see the Burger King, the Burger King fail of Erie, Colorado, from that night. From that night, they don't they don't know to get enough employees. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyways, anyways, so St. Luke's is another place across the street, maybe over in the softball fields, sort of that neighborhood. That would be a good one. Or, um, you know, where the amphitheater is in the park there yep. by the skate yep. might be a really good place. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, anywhere along Erie Parkway would be good, but it'd be hard to because they're one of the things they are saying is don't park anywhere that's a normal street. Don't park on County Line. Yeah, they don't want don't to park, park on Erie Parkway. Where they didn't want to. You know shut who it we down. need to make friends with? Who is Jennifer Carroll? No. Okay. Valley Barber, the State Farm agent that yeah. has the office right across the street from. Oh. But I can't. Don't tell Jeannie because she's my State Farm agent. Yeah, she so Don't tell Jeannie. Jeannie. But Bally Barber's office is right there across the street from the rec center. Ooh. Right there next to Burger King. Or Patel's yeah. orthodontist street. Yeah. We need to make we friends with those homies and get well, our see if they have roof homies. access. Yeah, yeah, totally. That's an interesting aspect, too, is you're going to have to be high line because this year the rain has been great and the trees are very lush and tall. Yep. So it's going to be a little harder to find a clearing. I would yeah, think. I would think so. Up Erie Parkway towards Up Erie Parkway. Folgers Hill might be a good place. The disc golf cart might be a good place, although it sits oh, pretty low. I wonder, low. like, the Collier's Hill Park, the workout park. Oh, yeah. I wonder if that's, that's got a line. Oh, that's definitely got the line. Yeah. That's a good suggestion. So go scope out your spots now. Yeah. Don't be trying to wait till like. You know, another great spot maybe be the Erie single track and just bike over there. Or the graveyard. Over. Or the the graveyard would be. Although the best. I think they lock it at night now. Yeah, they do lock it at they night. They used now. to just be open all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody cared. No, <laughs> there wasn't enough people in the town to care. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now they care. Now they're like, whoa, 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 whoa don't whoa, go whoa, in whoa. the graveyard at night. But yeah, Weird and else. you know, one thing we suggest also is bug spray this year. Cause Dude, we, the bugs have been bad this year. Yeah, I. Dude, what, when you th- when you think about a dad in dad life, what type of bug spray do you get for kids? You got to get that hundred percent deep, man. <laughs> just melt that skin off. <laughs> You do not you want your to kids to look like you opened the ri- the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> there's if there's no skin left, there's no mosquitoes to bite. <laughs> okay, they can't bite on a skeleton. Off has hundred really percent deed, bro. No, off has some good kids. Off has some good kid stuff that's lower in the deed or no deed or whatever. No deed. Yeah, 
Even the plant based off is actually pretty good. Actually, is it? Yeah, and does it smell awful? Have you tried? I wonder about all these. Like, you see, like the bracelets that are supposedly yeah. good. I wonder about those, but I don't know. We That's need to have a, a dad, a bug spray dad on. A bug spray dad, a dad of bugs. Dad, ooh. a dad of an bugs. An entomologist. An entomologist. Wow, well, I'm surprised you Isn't learned that. Isn't that the like, word for yeah, that? Yeah, that, that totally is. A- entomologist. Yeah. That's it for bugs. For bugs. Would they know about bug spray, or would they be offended by bug spray? Ooh, we They'd would have like, to pick our guests very well. How dare you? Yeah, how how would the you? The North American mosquito is a rare <laughs> and beautiful bug. It's possessive of West Nile. <laughs> don't you, don't you care <laughs> about the mosquitoes? Yeah, uh, no, I don't. No, we don't. Not we want to kill all of them. Uh, all of them. Bumblebees, sure. Yeah, bumblebees. We I love. get it. I get it. Uh, we get I it. Get it. They we fl- need them. Mosquitoes? mosquitoes? Yeah, we don't let's need not, them. Man. Let's <laughs> we, just not. Yeah, we don't need let's, them. Let's just kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Yeah. Anyways, so, <laughs> anyways, July 3rd. July 3rd. Is, is anybody doing center. anything on the 4th? I'm you know, Broomfield does. Are, Broomfield they're does keeping fourth, it. Yeah. They're keeping it true. Yeah, they always do. And okay. Broomfield display is a really great display historically. Okay. But, I mean, that's the drive for all us area folks. Yeah, and. It is kind of nice that it is the Saturday night instead of the Sunday night. And it is really nice that it's actually in the middle of town this year. No matter what. That but, is nice. I mean, Vista Ridge, hey, if we need to talk, call us. Yeah, call us. We'll we, mediate. We, Listen, you can always reach out you to got dads re- of Erie Instagram. You got reps of, yeah. of Erie Highlands and Grandview. We'll get somebody from Collier's over here. Yeah. We'll get somebody from Country Fields. We'll hear about your feelings. Erie Village. We want to hear about you. We care about you. We do, Vista Ridge. Yeah. We love you in your pool. Yeah. And sometimes your golf course <laughs> when it's when cheap. It's, when it's cheap. Yeah, which is never now. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I know there's a dump between us. <laughs> let's not let let's not let this become what's in between us. Okay. Don't let the trash stand between us. Don't let it. Everything if you say you're fine, you know what fine means? Feelings yeah. inside need expressed. Okay? Which if you ever hear this from RJ, it ruins when people say fine. Oh, I hope it ruins it. It ruins Cause it. Because pe- because when people say fine, you know what they really mean, Jay? Feelings, feelings inside, inside need expressed. Need expressed. I'm going to sell this class. Yes. You're going to be attending this class in five years. Uh, Yeah, probably. Leadership development. Leadership class. development. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Brought to you by RJ, the 25th of. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Fine. Feelings inside need expressed. Exactly. Okay, let's Powerful. get out of here. I need some patriotic music. Patriotic music. It's, happy 4th of July, Hey, happy Eerie 4th people. of Eerie. I hope you have a great time looking at the fireworks. Always reach out to us at Dads of Eerie you on know Instagram. Where to find us, yep. And guess what? What? Next episode is our review of one of the best places on earth. God bless <laughs>